Hi everybody, Jackie here with Brian from Weber Automotive. How are you doing today? Good Jackie, how are you? Doing good. So today we're actually doing something a little different. We're talking about driving tips to help keep your car in good condition. Mm -hmm. And this is really important for a lot of drivers. Tell Absolutely. Me why. Well, uh, to drive, uh, your driving habits have a huge effect on gas mileage, vehicle wear and tear, uh, life of the components. So if, if you have, uh, if you adapted some bad driving habits, you're going to pay for them. It will cost yeah. you money for sure. Uh, so we'll talk about a few good habits to have. Uh, right. Number one is don't be in a hurry. Ah. When you're in a hurry, you use more gas, you wear the brakes out faster, you wear the tires out faster, you wear the suspension out faster, um, and you know, of course you're more inclined to get a ticket as well. Yeah. But all those things cost you money. They do. Yeah, so, so if you're in a hurry, hurry, just be mindful that it may, it may you know, cost your wallet a, a you know, pretty penny oh, yeah, to be absolutely. in that hurry. So, yeah. you know, take it easy. Save yourself a ton of money, just leave a few minutes early and drive easy. Yeah. A lot easier. Now keep it clean. Is this is this the outside of the car, the inside of the car? Everything. everything. Yeah, everything really. Yeah, yeah. The outside of the car, under the hood, all that has an effect. Um, the paint will last longer. The glass will last longer if you keep it clean on the outside. Keep it clean on the inside. Dirt acts like an abrasive. Really? So yeah, yeah. So it wears the carpet out faster. Uh, if the seats are dirty, it, it grinds and wears into the seats, so it wears out the upholstery of the leather. Um, steering wheel, shifter, buttons, electronics. Uh, spilling coffee in, in a center console. There's electronics in all the center consoles anymore and it wrecks the switches and computers are in there. Um, so it's going to hurt the car's function as well as the car's value. Absolutely. Both. Yep, yeah. yep. Uh, underside in the wintertime. Wash mm -hmm. that salt off every now and then because it's corrosive and it just corrodes fast. Under the hood should be cleaned every so often because the dirt holds moisture and moisture conducts electricity. That can cause problems with the electronics. Wow, a lot of things people might not think of here. So keeping it clean is important. There are places that clean it for you and it's easy to clean it yourself. Grab a hose, rinse it yes. off, you know, every once in a while, right. especially when the weather changes a bunch. Yeah, right. Yeah. So talk about to me about parking inside. What if you don't have a garage or something like that? Yeah, if you can't, I mean, if you can't have, if you don't have a garage, you don't have a carport, what are you going to do? Yeah. If there's one accessible to you and it's not that much money to use it, it's worth it to do that uh, because it keeps the sun uh, from, from beating up the paint through the glass on the interior and the dashboard and the electronics. Uh, it also keeps it drier yeah. and the water combined with the, the dirt and everything causes corrosion and, and everything to get dirty. Um, another big one is uh, a lot of cars have sunroofs nowadays. Yes. And when you park outside, the dirt runs through the sunroof because most people don't know when that glass is closed, water still gets through it and around it between the glass wow. and the paint. And the way it gets out is a drain in each four corners of the, the glass. So if you keep it clean, you never have an issue. So every time we get a vehicle that comes in, oh, virtually every time that the carpet's soaking wet, or there's all of a sudden now there's water standing on the floorboard. It's because a sunroof drain got plugged and almost always they park outside. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So that can make a big difference. If you have it at home, park inside. And if you're out and about and you have the option to go under a carport or under a garage, take it. The car will last longer. Yep. Absolutely. Now talk to me about maintaining your vehicle. This is a really big one. Yeah, there, and there's a lot of topics. We could exhaust this one and talk about it in length, but but just good maintenance. So it's really simple is every car comes with an owner's manual and there's a schedule in there. Yes. Uh, what to be done at certain mileage intervals. Shorten the oil changes up, but follow everything else and the vehicle will last a lot longer. Keep the tires inflated. Keep it clean. Yes. Don't run the uh, have a tendency to run the tank on right. E all the time. Not good yep. for the fuel pump. And a lot of people have trouble maybe keeping up with that schedule maintenance. If they partner, they have a local shop or an independent shop. You guys have a really great schedule maintenance um, service that you guys yeah. do. And you have a lot of people that come back to you again and again to have that maintenance. And it really avoids bigger repairs over time for them. Yeah, absolutely. We can take your vehicle with, uh, and, and plug it into our system. Whenever we service it, it's in the system. But if you want to have us track that for you, uh, we can send reminders when wow. certain things are due. And it just reminds you that this service is due. and. Uh, for maintenance. That's great. And yeah. you guys can actually schedule your service with Weber right online at WeberAutomotive.com and learn more about all their services that they provide in auto repair. Thank you so much, Brian. Thank you, Jake.